Hey guys, Fushido of Team Bad Yugi's here, and I've got another deck profile for you right off the hotness. I've decided I'm going to do it even though I only have a one dimension barrier because I really want to get it out for you guys so I can give you some ideas, some insight. Although, in all honesty, it's like the most boring deck profile I could probably give you because it's just so. Well, it's almost standard. Some of my numbers are a little interesting. But yeah, 3A, 3B, 3C, 2 of each gadget, 3 Thrasher, and uh, 1 main deck Gamma Seal. I've cut down from two. I used to play Maxis, I used to play Ghost Ogres, I used to have like four hand traps. And as I've played more and more games, the Sukiyomi pitch first turn has just been like worse and worse and worse. I'm just like trying to like, I just wanted to not discard hand traps. I hate it so much. But I'm playing one game of seal. That way I almost never have to discard it when I'm going first. But if I do discard it, they think I have more Gamma Seals, and they will be afraid. So discarding a Gamma Seal, and that is all is like all right, because then no matter what, I'm drawing into traps and cards anyways, or cards I want to pitch off for my uh, banishing next turn. So I'm a huge fan of that, at least. Like, that's really nice. So I, I do play one Gamma Seal, but exactly one for that reason. The second one's in the side. Hello. And then spells, uh, Triple Desires, because the consistency is so nice. Triple Union Hanger, Triple Terraforming. Triple Twin Twisters, very important for the mirror match, popping out their back rows they set, hitting those anti-spells off the standby phase, and just knocking them out, just, hitting that in Union Hanger, that in a back row, whatever, you know, it's what you gotta do. The card's very, very important. Um, I can't believe I used to play two. Uh, one Upstart, one Rota, one Book of Eclipse, in that order. Again, it's the fourth Photon Thrasher, there's more consistency. I'm really running minimal cards as possible. It's like bare bones. Just trying to get into my engine starting. I need it. Uh, two anti-spells. I really don't want to open up multiples, but sometimes you do. Uh, one warning. Three strikes. One vanities and one dimension barrier. If I get a second one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'll be honest. It's like I don't know what to do with this power. But man, this card is so, so good in everything. It's just... It just stops. It slows them down. If they twin twister it, they like it's like, oh wow, what a waste of your time. It's just it's embarrassing how strong the card is. It's crazy. Um, now I'll get to the extra deck. Please play three, don't even consider running two. Uh full utopia package. I'm not liking this card right now because there's so much monster removal. Like there's just so like there's more ABCs, there's Book of Eclipses. It just makes this card completely pointless to being run. However, it's nice, because it's still there. Um, I still need one Heartland Draco. That's the card I need. Um, would this come out? It'd either be that, or it'd be Steel Swarm Roach. I feel like this card is not that relevant right now. But um, this Heartland Draco, it's still there. It is good for what it does. It does give them pressure. It makes them have to use those cards. Because it's like, well, if they don't, then they can't run over the card. That's for sure. Uh... One Rhapsody and Berserk, very important. One Digusto Emerald, good for recycling ABCs, getting in that extra knot. It's nice, it's really nice. One Steel Swarm Roach. Uh, one Abyss Dweller, good against the Burning Abyss and such. Two Dire Wolves, one Castell, one Gear Gigant, one Tsukiyomi. Again, like, all these are standard. I guess the... Uh, it's just, like, Steel Swarm Roach. I mean, I, I want to play Heartland Drake, or I need to pick one up. If I can find one, I'll definitely be taking out... Uh, I mean, my, my locals is a lot of blue eyes, so I'll keep this in. But I'll take out Prime first, I guess. Nah, nah, I'm taking out Roach first. Because then Prime, I do like having make them use that removal. I think that's really important. That's the one thing I definitely can vouch for Prime. Mirror Match, uh, Triple Ghost Reaper. Uh, I've considered main, deck, main decking that instead of this. Um, not really sold yet. I need to do more playtesting. Right now, I'm sticking with that. I do like these though, they're very nice, they do get the job done, I won't deny that. Uh, the two maxis, that way I can draw into the said Ghost Reapers, even off of one draw, it's just upstarts, upstarts, upstarts. Oh, by the way, whenever you go second, side out upstart goblin, just saying. Because uh, you never want to have a, an upstart in hand that could be one of your hand traps. So make sure you side out upstart goblin, going second. Uh, one cycle reader, used to play two, I cut it to one. I find that if I hit it off Desires, whatever, it's a blank. If I don't, then I can search for it off of a Gear Gigant mid-game, uh, interrupt them like that. The second game is Seal, as I spoke before. I'd love to main deck two, but it's just too much conflicts. Uh, the three system down for Mirror Match, of course. Most of this is for Mirror Match, honestly. Two more Book of Eclipses. 
the hot and new uh, Pot of Acquisitiveness. I'm definitely a fan of this card. It's put in much work. It's really nice um, when they tribute out their ABC to, uh, like, if they do it in your standby phase, and then you chain Acquisitiveness. So then you put back their three um, a, B, A's, B's, and C's, which uh, makes their draws worse because then they have to draw into those. They don't get them back, and then you get a card. You get a card for that. So there's your upstartness. So think of that rather as the upstart instead of upstart itself. Very good for mirror match. The third anti spell, and then one unit scramble. Maybe magnet reverse. I don't know. I like both of them. They both do what I need. It's just that this card is nice because then you can make the rank fours and stuff as well. And technically it puts more damage on board than Magnet Reverse does. It's just that Magnet Reverse is a quick play spell. That means if you have it in hand you can just live rip it off. They won't even see it coming. So that's really nice. Alright. That's the deck profile guys. Pretty quick. Pretty straightforward. It's ABCs. It's nothing new. You're going to see it everywhere. It is everywhere. There ain't, ain't too much wrong with that. But uh, hey. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh... Check out my check out the channel for um, all of the old format decks we have. I also just did some heroes. Uh, if yeah, if you want to see my hero build, I'm loving that. That's what I'll be taking to all the regionals. This is kind of a backup deck and play testing for with friends. It's all you know. It's for what you need to do it with, and it's pretty good. I don't know. This deck's decent. <laughs> all right, this is Team Fushido, guys. Signing out.